so I've somehow discovered a new form of wireless redstone that's as easy to use as doing this. Yeah, that's, that's literally it. And then to reset the machine, you do this. And then you can put a new pearl in there. Now, if you want the tutorial on how to actually build this thing, just skip to this timestamp here. But uh, how did we get here? So I was trying to think of mechanics I could use to create a wireless redstone machine. And I realized that the difficulty button was kind of perfect because no matter where you are in the world, when you click that button, every hostile mob in the game is going to despawn. So if I get a husk right here and I trap it in this little trap I've made like so, that's not exactly what I meant, but I guess it'll work for now. And we toss an ender pearl in here. Then when I change the difficulty over to peaceful, you're going to see that I'm going to go teleport to that trapdoor because the husk disappears and the trapdoor deactivates. Now that kind of seems like it worked pretty well, but there is one huge problem with this. So if I just get down another husk real quick and get it trapped in the machine and then I load another pearl into it and swap over to creative mode, we're going to start flying away and eventually this husk is going to despawn. And when it despawns, obviously it's not going to be on the pressure plate and there we go. I just got teleported back to the machine. But this should be an easy fix. I can just rename him with a name tag before getting him in there and load up the pearl in the machine. And now he can't despawn no matter how far away I go. I'm up on the snowy mountain now, really, really far away. And I can just go ahead and click this and I get teleported back. Now I could have just left it there and said, hey guys, here you go. Fancy new form of wireless redstone, but it just didn't sit right with me that you needed to get a new mob every time you wanted to reset at the machine and you needed a constant supply of name tags. I mean, you could use boats instead because that also prevents mobs from despawning, but I was like, there's gotta be something else. So I went to the wiki to see if there was anything else that changed when you changed the game's difficulty. And there was one thing that stood out the wither. Okay, let me get rid of him because he's not actually important for this. Oh, this is such a mess. If you didn't know, it is possible to put a wither skeleton skull in a dispenser and have the head get dispensed onto the wither's body like this. But here's the funny thing about that. If we swap the game back over to peaceful, you'll see that it isn't actually possible to spawn the wither in peaceful mode. So to make sure nothing funny happens, Mo Yang actually completely disabled the ability for wither skeleton skulls to be dispensed when you're in peaceful. So not only do we have a mechanic that changes whether or not you're in peaceful mode, but it's literally a redstone component, which is perfect for what I'm trying to do. So the machine would actually be pretty simple. I would just place a wither body, which you can place them sideways if you didn't know, and then I'd have a dispenser pointing into it with a wither skeleton skull inside of it, and that would get powered to place it down. And then we'd have a piston over here to break it. And then that would get collected by a hopper to go back into the dispenser. And we just have this on a clock, placing it and breaking it over and over and over again. So that way when we swapped over to peaceful, like this, then the dispenser would fail and the machine would be able to detect, hey, the skull didn't get dispensed, so activate the trap door and do the teleportation. And that's pretty much what this machine I showed at the beginning of the video does. So let's flick it back on and I'll explain the whole thing. We got this clock over here using a comparator and a repeater, and that activates this dispenser and this piston two ticks after. Now right now nothing's happening because we're in peaceful, but if I flick it back over to easy, you'll see that that wither skull is getting placed and then immediately broken by the piston, which shoves it into this hopper right here. And we actually have two wither skeleton skulls in the system. Let me power it off so you can see. There's two skulls right here because when this dispenser gets powered, it's briefly disabling this hopper to give it time to pick up the next skull, which is why this comparator is always on and never shuts off. If we only had one skull in the system like this, then we'll see that the comparator actually fires on and off. So by having two skulls instead, um, it just always stays on. So yeah, it's it's literally that simple. Four pieces of soul sand, a dispenser, a piston, a hopper, some redstone, a compare. It's, it's, it's that this is it. Everything that you see right now is it. Now, obviously this won't really work in multiplayer because you know, not everyone can change the difficulty in multiplayer. And this won't work in a hardcore world because you can't change the difficulty in hardcore. But for anyone who's just playing single player survival, I think this might be one of the best options for having a wireless redstone setup to bring you back home because it's so simple to build and it works almost instantly. Speaking of how easy it is to build, let's get into the tutorial for this thing. In order to build the peaceful detecting wireless redstone machine, you're going to need the materials in this 
chest. Now, if you don't want to connect this machine to an ender pearl stasis chamber, then you're not going to need the trapdoor or the water or this extra piece of soul sand. But for this tutorial, that's going to be what I build. You'll need a four by eight area to work with as well. So starting off, we're going to build a platform for the clock that powers the whole thing. We'll place a lever on the far end, place a comparator in subtract mode, place redstone dust like this, a repeater pointing this way with a tick of one, and then one more redstone right there, and that's the clock. We're gonna place a block right here with redstone on it to power the dispenser, and a staircase of blocks right here with redstone on it in order to power the piston. We'll get rid of these blocks here. Now we're gonna place a piston right here facing this way, and place a dispenser right here facing up, and a hopper facing into the dispenser. We're gonna go ahead and open the dispenser up and place two wither skeleton skulls inside. Now for my explanation, I placed the wither's body on the outside so you could see what's going on, but for your machine you should probably place the wither's body on the inside to keep it more compact. Then we'll place a block right here with a comparator on it and the base of the machine is pretty much complete. If we flick this on, this already is a peaceful detecting machine. Right now we're in peaceful mode, but if we turn it back to easy, the comparator is going to get powered. Now we're going to build the bubble column. We're going to create a tube right here and put a block right here to power this trap door. Then we're going to dig down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks, place a soul sand right here, and put water all the way up to the top, so that way we get some nice bubbles. And now you should be able to chuck an ender pearl in here like that, and the machine should be finished. We can go ahead and swap over to peaceful mode, and we get teleported almost instantly. And as a reminder, make sure to build this entire machine within one chunk. You can hold F3 and hit G in order to see chunk borders. If the ender pearl is outside of the chunk that the rest of the machine is in, the machine will not work. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to let me know in the comments if you use this machine yourself, and I will see you in the next one.